Everything you need to remember, everything you need to do, and everything you worry about has a brain tax. Nothing lives in your head rent-free. And so it is super important to be mindful of what and how much stuff you hold on to, especially if mental clarity and extended focus are things you seek. If you're anything like me, you value your coding time above all, and you're always looking for ways to enhance your performance. In this video, I will share with you my top five tips for increasing your productivity in coding, so you're able to not only pump out more, but also higher quality code. Hello everyone, and welcome back. If you like to code, then you have had at least a glance of what coding session flow feels like. And if not, then I'm about to share with you as accurate of a description as I can come up with to describe this angelic experience. This feeling where you find yourself operating at a godly pace with extreme mental clarity. Everything just clicking in place no matter how complex the task at hand is. Your fingers lightly touching your keyboard in absolute alignments, not with the thoughts that you already have, but with the thoughts that you are on the cusp of having, as they transition from God knows where to your conscious mind. You see your thoughts in code form on the screen as they breeze into your conscious mind with such elegance and smoothness. You can't help but feel immense amounts of gratitude to live in a time where these kinds of miracles can happen through you. You look up and shift your focus to the tiny right corner on the screen. You realize six hours have passed by. Hundreds of people, possibly thousands, have died and been born during that time. Relationships started and broken, meals eaten and excreted. You take a moment to wonder about all the possibilities and you get up to get a coffee or a cookie in my case. It is truly one of the most rewarding and the most satisfactory experiences in life. At least for a huge nerd like myself. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably are one too. Two years ago, I have become obsessed with trying to teach myself to get into that zone as quickly as possible and as often as possible. And even though I am far away from reaching that ideal, I am still miles ahead from where I started. After a long process of trial and error and experimentation and refinement, I came out a winner with the following three tips to increase your productivity in programming. Tip number three, reducing eye strain. To be productive at anything really, the consensus here is that you need to diminish or eliminate any friction that comes in the way of you being able to do that thing. And one of the biggest frictions in being able to code for hours and hours is eye strain. Nothing will break your focus and take you out of that sweet mental clarity zone more than having eye strain and blurry vision. This in fact happens due to the fact that overexposure of blue light emitted from digital screens. However, blue light is not necessarily the enemy here. Blue light actually helps regulate our circadian, circad I don't know how to say that, wake and sleep cycle basically. But the overexposure of it is the issue here. If you spend lots of time in front of your laptop, your phone, or even in front of TV playing video games, then you must have felt this tingly eye sensation at some point. As a software engineer, my job requires me to spend about eight to nine hours per day staring in front of the screen. And let's be honest here, I average significantly way higher than that when you factor in things like TV consumption, social media, and YouTube. And so what would happen is I would often get these phases where I find myself with eye strain and blurry vision. And then as a result, I end up reducing my hours until my eyes recover. And then once they're recovered, I end up falling back into my old habits. And it's only a matter of time before I end up repeating the cycle again. And it's really not a pleasant feeling. Upon the recommendation of a friend, I was able to avoid this when I started wearing blue light blocking glasses. So what are blue light blocking glasses? Blue light blocking glasses are basically glasses that have specially crafted lenses that are set to block or filter out blue light given off from the digital screens. I absolutely cannot recommend these enough. These are a game changer. I haven't had any eye strain for the past two years, even though, let's be honest here, my screen hours have increased greatly and significantly. But that's not the only benefit it promises. It also really helps improve your sleep because overexposure to blue light will negatively impact your sleep cycle. I honestly, I had them done on my prescription glasses, but to be completely honest with you, I don't even really need prescription glasses. My eyesight is perfect. But seriously though, I only wear them because I really need the blue light uh, blocking effect, but you can, have, you can get the same effects by buying some 
some blue light blocking glasses off Amazon. I'll leave some links in the description of the ones that I think might be good. Tip number two, Lion's Mushroom Man. I take a bunch of daily supplements for health and wellness and one of the most important ones that I take is called the Lion's Mushroom Mane. The Lion's Mushroom Mane is a nootropic and if you don't already know what a nootropic is, I will save you the effort of going down one more Google search rabbit hole. You're welcome. Nootropics are natural supplements or drugs that are said to have a beneficial effect on brain function in terms of things like boosting memory, motivation, creativity, alertness and general cognitive function. You might be thinking, what a huge If this already existed, then why don't I know about it yet? And you're not entirely wrong, actually. Most of these so-called nootropics don't actually work, at least most of the ones that I've tried, which has been a mouthful, actually. But this one's different, and I'll tell you why. Lion's Mushroom Mane is known to be extremely effective at stimulating these three main areas. The first area is the stimulation of the nerve growth factor, or NGF. And this basically means that the supplement helps prevent and treat nerve damage in the brain. And it's believed to help relieve neurodegenerative disease symptoms like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Second area is the boosting of neurogenesis. It stimulates the repair and the creation of neuron, and it boosts neurotransmitters and the signaling, which, which positively impacts memory and mood. And the third and final area is brain optimization. It really helps eliminate brain fog and restore memory, and that is something that I can personally vouch for. It has a bunch of other health benefits like increased immunity and reduced risk of dementia. And one fun fact about this supplement is that it's been used as a tea for thousands of years by Buddhist monks to enhance their brain power and to heighten their ability to focus during meditation sessions. Personally, I take it daily because I have felt its positive effects on my focus, being able to work for hours without feeling sluggish, mental and verbal clarity, and my ability to maintain and memorize and recall information. It was really apparent for me last year when I used to take them before my boxing classes. I would easily understand and retain the combination that my coach would show me, whereas usually I would struggle with it if I didn't take the supplement prior. But if you're planning to take this, you should probably do your research first and check with your doctor to make sure that it would actually benefit you and not harm you. And my final and my most important tip is a technique that I like to call brain dumping. Can I coin that or has someone already done it? This is something that I have discovered years ago, and it was sort of the thing I knew worked well for me, so I kept doing, but never really understood how and why up until recently. Now, let me try to break this down. Our brains have a certain bandwidth or a capacity that they can operate at. And if you, can, if you give it too much information to store or process at the same time, it will do the equivalent of machine overheating and it will slow down. This is what happens with your laptop when you have a ton of applications open and running at the same time. You might notice that your laptop fan is making a loud noise and your laptop is becoming sluggish and slow to deal with. Whereas when you just have one or a few applications open, it's smooth and feels natural to interact with. Even though our brains are much more powerful than any machine ever invented, we need to learn how to operate them the same way we learn how to operate machinery. If this super machine is bombarded with too much information at the same time or is expected to retain too much data, chances are it will overheat and you'll end up with losing focus and lots of brain fog. The more things you have to do and the more things that are piling up, even if they're not actively pinging at you, the more stresses that will be created in the background and these one by one chip away from your mental clarity. My solution for that is to brain dump or offload all this information on paper. I keep a giant notebook next to me at all times that I literally offload any ideas that pop into it. Actually, I got the idea for this video when I was coding and it popped up into my head as I was in the middle of solving a mentally taxing task. I quickly wrote it down so that I can discard it from my focus without worrying about losing it. That way it doesn't keep on pinging on me and leaves my focus undivided. If I have a project that I'm about to start working on, I take some time to create a list of all the steps that I think are required to bring that project to fruition. And as I go through the list item by item, if I find that any particular item has its own series of steps, I expand it into its own list and then go through them repeating the same process over and over again. I end up with a giant physical list, and as counterintuitive as it sounds, having a giant physical list and a clearer mind is much more productive than having a smaller list with a not so clear mind. This is because it's very stressful to have a list in your head that leaks into every process you do. Everything you need to remember, everything you need to do, and everything you worry about has a brain tax. 
nothing lives in your head rent free. And so it is super important to be mindful of what and how much stuff you hold on to, especially if mental clarity and extended focus are things you seek. If you found these tips useful and interesting, and you're preparing for your software engineering interviews, I highly recommend checking out my other video where I give tips on how to land your dream job. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.